There it is. We got candles. We got spooky lighting. What else do we need to summon the forces of darkness? We need a board game from Hasbro. <laughs> the modern road meets the mystifying oracle. How does this go from a genuinely haunted talisman to a board game? Well, the first written record of what they called planchette talking or spirit boards or talking boards was in 1100 AD in China. There's record of it being used all over the world in Rome and Greece and so forth. But in 1890, in the rise of spiritualism in the United States, it was patented by William Fold and Elijah Bond. Now, this is back when everyone had talking to dead people fever. Exactly. It was an actual medical condition. <laughs> yes, it was like Pac-Man fever, but with dead people. Now, there are a lot of knockoffs, but Ouija is the one that is used by Hasbro. Now, I've heard that Ouija, at some point, they were saying it's a fusion of we and ya from uh, German and French, but that's not true. That's like retcon, right? That's not true. Yeah, that's just something that these guys made up to sound kind of exotic. Mysterious. Originally, it was one of the guys that they worked with, and he was saying that Ouija was an ancient Egyptian word, meaning good luck. Oh, but even that's BS, right? Just yeah, made up. exactly. It just sounds spooky. God, man, those days must have been great. Anyone could just make anything up. There's no internet to correct them. <laughs> oh, God, you could just <laughs> lie to people and make money off of it. Unlike now, where we know that's totally ended. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, look, we got someone. What are we gonna ask? What are we gonna ask? Oh, I, I didn't read the rule book. Should we read the rules? <laughs> yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, what are the rules? Are there rules? For decades, players have brought their questions to the Ouija board. What you do with the information it reveals is between you and the mystifying oracle. Man, those are some carefully selected words. Yes. <laughs> and then the tagline, Ouija, it's only a game, isn't it? Monopoly, it's a quick game. Is Isn't it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I had always heard when you were a kid that like, you never use it alone. You always have to do a figure eight. We built up this mythology as kids. Let's do a real quick thing. Okay. All right, okay. All right. Uh, hands on all the way. <laughs> Is YouTube's content ID policy a pain in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> You're pushing it. I'm not. I know you are. I'm not. I'm barely what, touching what are you it. What talking about? I'm barely touching it. You're pushing it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I swear. Yes. It feels to me like you are pushing it. Uh, it feels to me like you are definitely pushing it. I'm barely touching it. All right, you want to try it again? Yeah, let's right, do it. Right, okay. Right, let's move okay, different question. What's, yeah, yeah, what what um, question are we going to ask? Uh, yeah, focus, man. Uh, yeah, it's Drop serious. it in, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what domain should we register? <laughs> It's definitely moving. Uh, D? D. <laughs> okay. It's very slow. <laughs> I just wanted to hurry up. Oh, I know. <laughs> because, I'm sorry, spirit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it feels like you should be doing something. Respect the spirits, damn it. Uh, uh, D. T. <laughs> Not liking where this is going. <laughs> it's an Alcoholics Anonymous. H? H? <laughs> U? D T H U G T H U I I I broke the connection. Register D T H U I. It's a company. D T H user interfaces. Oh yeah, yeah. So now we have to make a company. Because sorry, this was fun. Traditionally, you would sit there and everyone would focus on it, and then you would say, "Is someone there?" And let me guess. It said yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or, or it, it was to know. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> you were supposed to build like a bond with the spirit, like what's your name? How did you die? And then sometimes it would get angry, you know, and then go to goodbye. Like it didn't want to talk to you anymore. It is really remarkable the sensation of feeling like the thing's moving on its own. And it, and it does feel like the other person's moving it. But you know how all of this works, right? Idiomotor response. That's right. And the best demonstration is one you could do that will actually fool yourself. It's called Chevrolet's Pendulum. Uh, do you have a ring on? Okay, good. This is one everybody should try at home right along with us. All you need is some kind of string. In fact, I've used my earbuds before and some kind of weight at the end. So I'm gonna use my ring. So go ahead and tie this off and we're gonna create what's called a dowsing pendulum. You know what dowsing is, right? Uh, that's where you use something to try to find water, right? Correct, correct, correct. So we're gonna summon an actual spirit from Atlantis named Bob, right? So I want you to hold it in your right hand, kind of up here, your left hand underneath to kind of summon the energy and ask him, imagine you ask Bob a question and this will work for everybody trying at home as well. And Bob's gonna answer by moving the ring forward and backwards to indicate yes. So I want you to just, with your mind, imagine it going forward and backwards and it will actually start to move even though there's no conscious way you're manipulating it, it'll actually start moving forward and backwards on its own. There it is, there it is. Now watch this. Wow. You could get him to change his mind and say no by moving it in a circle. Just picture it moving in a circle now. <laughs> is that amazing? <laughs> that is incredible. 
So the way this works is the ideomotor response is all those tiny micromuscular movements that we don't consciously know that we're making. But when we imagine something, you eventually make those movements in accordance with it. You kind of set up a resonance where all those little movements kind of tie together to cause it to move the way you imagine. This is what all forms of dowsing boil down to, is dowsing shows you what you expect to see. You're picturing something right about here, and then of course the ideomotor response takes over. So when everybody puts it on here, this is super slidey, right? You got these, these felt things on here. So as a result, it takes virtually nothing to move it around. And so when everybody puts it down, we all expect it to go to yes. We're all having those tiny micromuscular movements, and then eventually this, this kind of consensus happens and we all move to yes. It's kind of a snowball effect. So when you see it heading in a certain direction, it reinforces, it reinforces the it. idea. In fact, it can get so big, this is what causes table tipping. You remember the end of that movie, The Others, when they're, the ghost's getting mad and it's throwing the table around? That's something that would happen during seances. Everybody would put their hands on the table and no one person realizes that they're moving around. But as it starts to jostle, everybody's trying to stop it. And by trying to stop it, they're knocking over candles and creating a health hazard. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a third host on here. A ghost host. The ghost host? The ghost All right, host. We, we got to find out the name of the ghost. Better not be okay. DTHUI. <laughs> D -T yeah, let's see. Okay, is someone there? God, it really feels like it's moving on its own. Uh, yeah, I'm barely touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your hands floating there. It's like a cartoon. Like It's like you just ran away with it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>